Alright guys, I got back to my deer stand. It's about 1 o'clock. Uh, the temperature's warmed up a little bit. The wind's still blowing pretty good. I, uh, I checked four cameras. I've got one, I don't know, maybe half a mile that way. There's a little food plot I got. And there was a glint. I kept getting pictures of this kind of way out there. I couldn't really tell what it was. Of a good deer. But I couldn't ever tell. Behind me, on the ridge, about 80 yards, I've got a camera. I checked it. And there is a stud of a nine pointer in here. The only problem is, I mean, he's kind of last week, he's came four or five times in daylight in the evening. So possible he might come in tonight. The only problem is with the wind, I think he's going to run this side of this ridge, but if he stays on top of the ridge top, he's going to bust me because my wind's blowing that way. I'm really praying if he comes in, he stays on the side of this ridge where all the other bucks normally come through. We'll keep our fingers crossed and hope he makes the ch chooses the right path. And I hope I'll make a good shot. And I can shoot foam all day long and shoot just fine, but you put an animal with a live heartbeat in front of me and I get excited and I tend to make bad shots. So, hopefully, I change all that today.
just smoke me a turkey. But yeah, a little spike come up underneath me and I was watching him and I heard something behind me and seen some turkeys. So I swapped over to a different arrow. It had a mechanical on it. And uh, I kept the tree in between them and me. And they slipped. Came up behind me about 25 yards or so. And I drew it back. And when that thing stuck its head down, I put it right on top of its head. And it just dropped in its tracks. That's the first time I've ever self-filmed a turkey hunt and killed with a bow. So that was kind of cool. So, they're still down here like 20 yards, but I'm not going to go shoot another one. Let them go for now. It's getting, it's getting late. Hopefully that buck might come through here for too long. We're still got 20, 30 minutes before dark. So, Alright guys. We're on the ground. Walk over here and check out this turkey. guys went right through the top of the back there we're sticking in the ground right there good old hen that'll be some good eating well thanks for watching i'm gonna get out of here and i'll be back in the woods somewhere in the morning so i'll catch you guys tomorrow all right guys it's november 4th it's warm it's hot Probably not the best time to hunt, but the only thing that keeps us going is the rut's fixing to kick in, bucks are going to start chasing, so they're cruising, so we never know what might come by or what you might see. So, I'm coming back in here over on uh, this public land where I took my daughter uh, youth hunting. It was really windy and it was a north north wind that day so I'm gonna see if it's better with the south wind I know Matthew hunted it last weekend and seen quite a few deer activity quite a bit of deer activity over there but it's colder but it was a south wind so we tried it with the north wind and didn't see hardly anything just a bobcat and a couple does so I'm gonna go back in there today and see what I see today it's about about a mile walk so it's way back in the back of this chunk of land and it's hilly, so the wind's a big factor in it. I mean, if it swirls and stuff, that bad messes you up pretty good, but hopefully that'll be steady and we can keep it. It's a southwest wind, so hopefully it'll just keep blowing off the ridge away from the deer. But Matthew said over here, there's no telling where the deer are gonna come from. He said they came from every direction last time, so it's a gamble either way. But deer hunting's a gamble a lot of times. Alright guys, I made it to the tree. So what I'm doing is there's this big old big old ridge system. Comes down to the valley, goes back up to another big old ridge. The valley on the side of this ridge is just shredded with rubs. The valley's got a bunch of scrapes. Them deer are traveling on the sides of this hill. What I'm sitting on is a shelf. I mean, the ridge come down, shelves off, down again. Last time I was in here, there was deer walking across this shelf, going back and forth. So I'm hoping to catch them, same thing, it's coming across this shelf. If they're below me, hopefully they won't be able to see me so I can call. And they'll come up here to see what's on the shelf. And that'll give me a shot if they're above me. There ain't much I can do. I'm mean, I can call, but I don't think they'll come to me. But, uh... There's some good deer in the area. Got a couple pictures of some really nice bucks in here. So we just need Lady Luck to bring one of them studs by me. It's been a pretty slow season so far. I haven't seen, I've only seen one, like one good deer in the last week or two. And uh, the run should be starting to kick off. I mean, it's November 4th. 
usually by now they're starting to chase and the action's getting pretty good. But uh, we've got a southwest wind. Well, it should be blowing my wind across the valley. So, we'll see what happens. I plan on probably sitting here most of the, most of the morning, maybe all day. It's about an hour drive from my house, so I don't really want to drive back home, so I might just hunt here and stay in here all day and then maybe take a nap or something and hunt the rest of the evening. Or I might just stay in the stand all day, I don't know yet. I mean, it's warm, it's about 45 degrees. It's supposed to get up to 75. So, it's not the ideal weather we want, but these bucks are bound to be looking for a doe for long. We just gotta get lucky and get one to come by.
say a buck, a decent buck. A spike come through first, which I was watching, kind of seeing what he where he's going. He's headed down the hill, kind of direction my way. And I happened to look behind him, I seen the other one that's at eight point. I grunted at him a little bit, and he came up with it, up to me about 30 yards. If he was a little bit bigger, I'd probably try to shoot him. But I don't know if that spike got down to the valley and picked up my wind or what. Because he took all ball out of here. I don't know if that's what made that buck come up. When he grunted at him, made him come up. For some reason, he came up the hill. Right to him. Well guys, it's getting dark. I got a long way back in the truck, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out and get out of here. Uh, I just seen those three deer all day. It's pretty slow. Matthew texted me and he killed the pretty nice 10 points, so good for him. Congratulations. So, we'll catch you guys later.